to my channel. Today I'm doing this bronzed kind of copper makeup look and I really like it because there's no eyeliner involved. The eyelashes are very natural. I'm really excited for this video because I'm going to be using a lot of makeup brands that I have barely been receiving. And most of the time I feel like I'm really unorganized. I'll just have them in their boxes that they came in and I never get to really try out everything on camera. So the other day I just decided to organize my makeup and it just made everything so much easier. I actually organized my makeup on Snups. Snups is an app that I have heard everybody talk about. I'm sure you guys have heard about it too. It's pretty much a place where you create your own shelves and you can organize anything on there and it's up to you if you want to have them public or private. As of now, I have six shelves and I do have all of them public. The first one is just new goodies. I actually only have one which is a Morphe 350 palette that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. The second shelf is just like my makeup looks. It's not all of my makeup looks that I have obviously created but I just put a few on there. And you don't have to do this, but I actually put like my July makeup looks. I don't know, I just felt like that would keep me a little bit more organized. Clearly, this is not something you need in your shelf. The other shelf that I have, I don't want to show you much, but I think it's such a great idea. And I just put all my July favorites in there. I notice I never do monthly favorites, and I feel like the reason why is because, again, I'm really unorganized and my makeup is just kind of everywhere. But this pretty much is going to help me out when I do film my July favorites. I'm going to know what products to get out because I already have them on my little shelf. So stay tuned for my July favorites. I will be doing one. In this other shelf, I just have like my Too Faced goodies that I have been receiving. And some of these products I do use in this video as well. I have some Tarte goodies as well that I have been receiving. I use, I think, maybe like two products from this shelf. Everybody has different things. You know, if you're a guy, you can definitely organize your shoes, your pants, your watches, your colognes, your shirts, your hats, you know, things like that. Um, but so far, I just have makeup. If you guys do want to follow me on Snaps, my username is Amira Touch of Glam. So far, I have 4,000 followers. I don't know where they came from, but thank you for those of you guys that are following me. So that's pretty much why I decided to do a video like this using brand new products because I'm telling you guys, I'm just like really all over the place when it comes to makeup. I'm going to leave the app down in the description box as well as my Snaps, so go follow me. So if you guys want to see how I create this look using mostly new products, then just keep on watching. The first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes and I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is clearly not a new product for me but it's been a while since I've actually used it and I'm just going to be applying this with my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using this new Morphe 350 palette. It just pretty much has all your warm colors in there. Definitely a palette that I recommend. So I'm just going to go in with the peach color and I'm going to apply this on the crease. This is just going to be working as my transition color and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with my favorite blending brush, which is the Sigma E35 brush. I'm going to take this brown, it kind of looks copper, it's really shimmery though. I'm going to take this and apply this on the crease. I would regularly just stick to pure matte shadows when applying colors to the crease, but I wanted to try something different and I definitely like the way it looked. So I'm just applying this with my Diva SL7 Pro Blender brush right on the crease and bringing it also inwards. After that, I just got my Sigma E35 fluffy brush and made sure to blend everything out. I am now going to take this gold color and apply this on the eyelid using my Smith 256 brush. Thank you. 
I'm going in with another shade of gold, except this one's a little bit more pale. And I'm just going to apply this with my fingers on the center of the eye. I originally did this just so it could uh, pop a little bit more. But this really did not make a difference. So I'm going to now take this really copper color and I'm going to apply this on the outer crease of the eye using my Diva SO7 Pro Blender brush. And I'm also going to be going in the inner corner as well. Keep in mind, this was my first time using this palette, so I was just playing with it. I don't really know where I'm going with this look yet. That's why I'm just grabbing different colors here and there. And then after that, I'm going to also grab that color and blend it um, right on the crease as well. To deepen up the crease a little bit more, I decided to go in with a matte brown and I'm just going to pop this right on the crease using my Smith 232 brush. Once again, I'm going to take my E35 and just blend everything out. I'm trying out this new mascara by Sigma and this one's called Senuosity Lash and this is just in the color black and I actually did like the mascara. I like the shape. I feel like it really did coat my lashes very well. These lashes are by Lily Galici in the style Venice. These were my first time using these and I have to say they are very natural but I really did like the way they put the look together. They just, I don't know, they look really nice and innocent. I went back in with that Sigma mascara and applied it just on the roots to really help my natural lashes blend in with the falsies. I'm using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. This was my first time using this. You guys, I absolutely love this. It's a lot thicker than the Professional by Benefit. And I just felt like it really mattified my face. It smoothened out all my wrinkles and pores. I just, I really like it. For foundation, I'm trying out the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the color Soft Ivory. This was my first time using it and I was actually trying to test it out because I'm going to be doing a full face drugstore makeup look very soon. So I kind of wanted to try it out first in this video and see if I liked it. That way I could feature it in my drugstore look. So this is definitely something I'm going to feature because I actually did like the way it applied. And I'm just applying this with my Alter Beauty Flat Top Kabuki brush. For my concealer, unfortunately, I don't have anything brand new. I'm just using the good old Frankie Rose concealer in the color Fresh. If you guys do know of any good ones, please leave them down below in the comments. I for sure need to try out more concealers because I only have a few. So I'm just applying this concealer underneath my eyes and pretty much on the T-zone. And I'm blending it out with my Ultra Beauty Flat Top Kabuki brush. To set my concealer and the T-zone, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I believe I've tried the pressed one in front of you guys, but I don't think I've actually used the loose powder. So I'm just setting underneath my eyes and my T-zone. I have to say this thing just completely blur out your pores and wrinkles and things like that. But this will reflect on flash, so it's going to give you that white cast. Honestly, I do not like using powders that do that to my face. Obviously, when I was trying out this product, I didn't know it did that till after when I was taking pictures, I just kind of noticed it. Um, but basically, what I'm doing here is just baking the face. So I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Pencil and Light and apply this on the waterline. I've been obsessed with doing this for quite a while. If you guys watch my tutorials, you know that I'm always using this pencil liner. I don't know. It just kind of opens up my eyes and I just <laughs> I love it. To dust off this product, I'm just going to use my It Cosmetics, um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is like changing. I'm using the It Cosmetics number one brush. This is just like the really huge fluffy one and I love it. I'm going to take that gold that we used on the eyelid and I'm going to be applying this underneath the eye and I'm just applying this with my Smith 256 brush. I'm 
I'm going to take that dark copper shimmery color that we used on the crease and I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line and I'm just going to apply this with my Morphe MB11 brush. I'm going to just apply a thin line. Um, I don't really want to smoke it out too much. I'm going to take that vanilla color and apply this in the inner corner using my Sigma E37 brush and I'm also going to make sure I apply this on the brow bone. I'm taking that same Sigma mascara I used for the top lashes and coating the bottom ones. To contour the face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This is probably the second time I've used this thing and I really like it. So I'm just going to be taking that warm shade and I'm pretty much just going to kind of bronze and contour the face using my Smith 118 brush. I'm taking my Sigma E35 blending brush. This is a really tiny skinny brush and I'm just going to use it to contour the nose. It was a little bit difficult at first to get like used to it but now like I feel like it's the perfect brush for that. I'm going back into the It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores powder and just pretty much applying this underneath the cheekbones. I've been doing this lately just kind of baking the face you know. <laughs> I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to take the Tarte Blush in Charisma and this is fairly new obviously, my first time using it. So I'm just going to apply this using my Zoeva 101 Luxe Face Definer Brush. This has been my favorite brush for blush lately. It's just it's really fluffy and cute. <laughs> I'm just going to go back in with that Sigma or It Cosmetics, my bad, brush just to blend everything out and dust it away. I'm taking the Becca highlighter in, what is it? How am I forgetting? Champagne Bob, how did I forget that? Oh my god. I'm just applying this with my Smith 112 brush. This is not a new highlighter. Well, it's kind of new, but I've been using it so many times already. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love this thing. So I'm just applying this on the highest points of the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, my cupid's bow, all that good stuff. To line the lips, I'm just using this Cat Beauty lip liner in the color Natural. I'm going in with a Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wearing Lipstick in the color Sugar, Melted Sugar. This thing is, oh my god, the perfect nude color. I love it. I fell in love with it right away. I just feel like it's going to be one of my favorites. That pretty much completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this look, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Obviously, that's going to help out a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.